Breaking news, people. Singapore is currently experiencing a whole slew of stolen Duotrons. What happens is uh, once you list your e-scooter on uh, some kind of an online platform, like in Singapore, we've got Carousel. The buyer will actually tell you that, okay, I need to go for a test ride. And this guy will just take your e-scooter and run off with it. So yeah, so that's what's been happening in Singapore. Pretty crazy these days. E-scooter thefts are on the rise. And it's quite ridiculous how desperate people are for e-scooters in general. Um, again, if it's a Doltron, I think you should be quite concerned in how you actually secure it. So I had someone who actually sent me a message on Facebook asking me, how do you secure your e-scooter when you go for a toilet break? I sent several answers back, put it beside the urinal and then I would be peeing. And if I'm doing like a big job, then I would most likely have to ask someone to uh, look out for my e-scooter. I think in Singapore, uh, most coffee shops or most hawker centers, there will be some random uncle or auntie that's just sitting around, you know, having a meal. And if you politely ask, I'm sh pretty sure that they will actually watch over your your Dotron, maybe. That's an option. And then he's uh, asking, say if you go to the movies, if you go to a cinema, I don't really go to the movies these days for some strange reason. And even if I do, most of the time I'm driving or, you know, I'll be with a whole bunch of friends. So I don't really ride my e-scooter into the movies. I think there are several options right now other than um, uh, rolling the e-scooter into the toilet. I've actually toyed with the idea of having some kind of a Bluetooth device that you can just stick it underneath your board and then, or it's like some kind of a proximity alarm. When, when you roll it away immediately, it triggers an alarm or via motion sensor. I'm sure you have these available on uh, AliExpress as well that you could purchase it for. You mount it onto the stem of your e-scooter, turn on a key, it activates the motion sensor. But of course that acts as a deterrent. I think when people see your e-scooter in a big open area, in a very vulnerable state, you will run the risk of having it stolen. You guys are watching, if you have a much better way to secure your e-scooter when you go to the movies, when you go to the library, you go to places where you can't actually bring your e-scooter inside, perhaps if you have a much better suggestion, then please comment below. Now on to my next thing, which is my second giveaway. Christmas is just around the corner and if I don't uh, start pacing my giveaways, I really don't think I would have time to post all the videos. And for my second giveaway, if you ride an electric skateboard, this is the Evolve uh, backpack. Um, it still works perfectly okay. I just had to tighten up the zipper a little bit and now it works fine. So, this would carry an electric board. It's extremely spacious. Love it. And it's in perfect working condition. It's got a few scratches here and there, but overall, it's a great looking bag. Sorry, if you live out of Singapore, I will contact you on how I can send it out to you. You just have to pay for the postage. I'm gonna put this giveaway on Gleam. Share the link, good luck. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. So yeah, uh, that basically concludes the...